Hi, I'm Mike from Boca Film Studios, and this is part two of an in-depth review of the Mavic Air in which I ask this question. Is the Mavic Air a better drone for wedding filmmakers? Now, if you haven't watched part one of my Mavic Air series, I encourage you to do so. I talk all about the things that I love about the hardware, the software, and also the things that I think that DJI still could spend some time on. I'll attach that link above. When you ask a question like this, is this a better drone for wedding filmmaking? I guess you first have to ask yourself, what makes a good drone for wedding filmmaking? Well, for me, I think it's several factors. Number one, am I gonna get the best possible quality images out of my drone. Number two, is it something I can easily carry with me and bring wherever I go? Number three, is it gonna have enough battery power to last me the whole day and get all the shots that I want? Number four, is it gonna make it easier for me to do what I do as a wedding filmmaker and get perfectly cinematic shots? So back to part one. As far as the sensor goes, it is the same sensor as the Mavic Pro, with one pretty big difference, and that is the bitrate. This shoots at twice the bitrate as the Mavic Pro, 100 megabytes per second in 4K compared to the 50 megabytes per second 4K of the Mavic Pro. To me, that just tells me that I'm gonna get sharper images, more cinematic feel to the footage that I record for my wedding films. Number two is the size of the drone. Now I know a lot of people use the Phantom series of drones and to be honest, that sensor, that optical that you're gonna get out of that drone is definitely better than the one that you get in this drone or the Mavic Pro. But to be completely honest, the way that this is designed and the image quality you get from this is not that far off from the Phantom. And so for me, the size of this drone really tells me that this is a perfect drone for wedding filmmaking. I, I honestly could fold this up and stick it in my pocket and take it wherever I want to go with it. To me, that's a huge advantage of this drone. Number three was the battery life. And to be completely honest, I don't love the battery life of this drone. DJI will tell me that I can get 21 minutes of flight time out of a single battery. The truth is, I really only think that you get maybe 12 to 15 minutes of solid cinematic footage. By the time you take off, fly to the spot that you want to shoot, and land the drone, you pretty much kill the whole battery in about 12 to 15 minutes worth of quality flight time. That's why I have the Fly More Pack. I definitely think it's worth the extra $200. You get three batteries and a charger that will charge up to four batteries at the same time. It also comes with a couple other things, but those are the most important parts of the Fly More Pack. Number four, and this is the thing that I really wanted this drone for, does this camera make it easier for me to get the shots that I want in a more efficient way? Now, if you're anything like me, when you're in the middle of filming an entire day's worth of wedding, you're running around frantic to get all those great shots, and so time is of the essence. You want to have an efficient use of your time. To me, the intelligent flight modes are aimed at doing that exact same thing, and that is why I think that this drone is going to be perfect for this upcoming wedding filmmaking season. So once the drone is in the air, you have to go to the quick shot mode, and then you'll have access to some of the intelligent flight modes that I think I'm going to use all of the time. So there's a whole bunch of different modes once you get to that quick shot menu, and those include things like droney, circle, rocket, boomerang, and so forth. The ones that I think I'm gonna use the most are gonna be like the circle slash helix slash boomerang setting. In other words, what they really do is they circle around the subject, creating this really cool flight mode that just kind of does a 360 all the way around the couple. What that's gonna do is it's actually going to incorporate the surroundings of the couple. So if you're in a really cool cinematic looking backdrop, you're gonna be able to capture all of those images with one click of a button. Circle is going to just go around the couple. Helix actually goes around the couple and gets wider as it goes around. That one I'm probably gonna use a lot. 
Boomerang is gonna start close, get a little bit wider going around you, and then end up right back nice and close. Another one that I'm positive to use this year is a setting called Rocket. Now, some of my brides tell me that there's a bridge or a spot that they really wanna get some good drone footage on. And what this one shot does is it centers over the top of the couple and then goes straight up about 150 yards. It's this really cool reveal view that really highlights the couple right in the center of the footage. And there was one more intelligent flight mode that I was actually really excited for and excited to try out, and that's the asteroid feature. Now the asteroid feature is kind of cool because it slowly pulls away from you and then goes up, I don't know, several hundred feet, and it gets a 360 image all the way around, and it ends up looking like it builds this huge globe out of nothing and then comes back to you if you copy and paste and reverse it. It's a really cool feature. I think it's a little gimmicky though and probably not something that would look very professional in a wedding film but it is really fun and kind of cool. So for all those reasons, I definitely think that the Mavic Air is a better drone for wedding filmmaking. It's got the improved and better looking image because it's got twice the bit rate than the Mavic Pro. It's so portable. You are able to fold this up and put it in your pocket, take it anywhere that you want, any place that you are shooting a wedding or just for recreation, it's a great portable drone. Number three, while maybe the battery life isn't that great, with the Fly More Pack and the ability to have three different batteries, I really do think that it's everything that you need to shoot one full day's worth of footage at any of the weddings that you're shooting. Number four, by far one of my favorite things, is the ability to really save and conserve time by using the intelligent flight modes to get the cinematic shots that are really done automatically and quite honestly, much more perfectly than I could fly myself in a single take. Well, that's it for part two of my review on the Mavic Air. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel. Hope you'll come back for part three where we talk all about color grading, color correction, and getting that perfect cinematic look that will improve and help your wedding filmmaking look that much better. Thanks so much and have a great day.